How's it going, Blue News? Dr. Blue here, back with an episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. Now, today, we are doing more personal quests. Um, I talked to Josephine, I think, and that is her name, right? Yeah, Josephine. Talk to Josephine. She's got a personal quest. Um, we're doing Cassandra's, and then we're going to do Josephine's. I'm going to speak to Cullen today, see if he's got one. Um, I think it's going to be after I do Josephine's quest, because I couldn't do Josephine's quest until I'd done uh, Leliana's quest. So, yeah, I think all the advisors got personal quests too, but... First of all, we're doing Cassandra's one, which is to look for some Seekers. Uh, yeah, she thinks Seekers of Truth are being captured by Corypheus or killed or whatever. So, yeah, anyway, let's go. Uh, Cassandra, obviously, we're taking. Uh, we'll just take Dorian and Sarah because I, I think those are my strongest too. I like Sarah's abilities with all her little fire and ice flasks and shit. Okay, so we've got to explore the castle then. All right, where's the castle? Up here, I assume. It's gear. And this should be Cassandra's personal quest. So then all we've got left is Solus. Who hasn't come to me with anything yet. Odd that the trail should lead us here. Ban Loren is a pious, unassuming man. What has he become involved in? Uh it might not be by choice. Be a victim as well. Let's see what lies within. Hey man, are you <gasps> No! No! You're evil! Come back here! Come back here. Where are you going, man? Come back here. I, I just thought, like, we found the Templars already, but it's just, it's an evil man. Alright. Uh, um, how's it going, everyone? How's it going? You wanna, you wanna, you wanna fight and shit? Yeah, that's fine. Ah! Die! Die! Come on, Inquisition! Let's kill these Templar soldiers, even though they're probably really evil, which is why we're killing them, I guess. Whatever. Is there anyone in the jail cells? The Order what? of Fiery Promise is a cult with strange beliefs about the Seekers. They've hounded us for centuries. Uh... What strange beliefs? They believe they are Seekers. The only rightful ones. They say we robbed their powers long ago, preventing them from ending the world. Ending the world? The only way to truly eradicate evil in their eyes the world will be reborn a paradise. It's wow. All... Why not deal with them? Why haven't the Seekers dealt with them? We have, many times. Mm-hmm. They simply reappear after a time like weeds. Nobody knows how. Can they be reasoned with? It's possible to negotiate with them. They're fanatics, drunk on whatever forbidden magic they can find to make themselves true Seekers. This explains why the Seekers might be here, but not the connection to Corypheus. Maybe, maybe. There's a dead seeker here. A seeker. Did yeah. they torture him to death? I don't the know, mate. Will pay for this. Yeah, they will. Let's go! Promises! Promises! Fuck. Get up here! <laughs> Let's see if I can just pull him up like that. If I can pull him up like that, why not just hang him? Hang him like the rope darts in Assassin's Creed. Just do that. No need to pull him up. Alright, they're getting a fucking move on? Shit. Huh. Come here, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, right, okay. Yeah, deal with them. Ah. Die promises. You are not in this world. Die out and go away and stop coming back. How dare you, bad, bad, bad people. You dare. You dare. Kick his ass door. Go on. Come here, man. Yeah. Where's the last one? Someone over here. Get him, Cassandra. Go on, kick the shit out of him. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Right. Oh. Oh, okay. As the seekers of truth have proven resistant to the effects of Red Lyrium, the Elder One has seen fit to place them in your care. We claim your destiny and know that the Elder One expects your devotion as repayment. Signed by Okay, how can she carry her like shield and sword and like still read those and stuff? Does Corypheus not realize the promises want the world to end? What use are they to him? He'll betray them. Corypheus will probably betray them before they get their chance. But after he gets what he needs out of them. Oh yeah, most, def most definitely. How he captured the seekers in the first place, or what's been done with them. We must keep looking. 
Why are Seekers resistant? Our abilities grant us many gifts, but the resistance to Red Lyrium's corruption. That seems strange. Powerful dudes, man. Powerful dudes. Among the Red Templars. And thus Seekers would be useless to Corypheus. He would have no leash to hold us. Uh, you're worried. Don't worry. I am. The Seekers are my family. Hmm, considering you want yourself, I guess. Makes sense. I don't want my Inquisition dudes to die, so, you know. You, you gotta be careful, you gotta look out for those guys, they're your family. If you ain't got one. I don't know. Right, you should get this sack, because obviously sacks are the best. Look, a deep mushroom, and then like, something in there. I didn't read it. What's that? Ew. Okay, let's go. Right, Cassandra, let's go, let's go find these Seekers, shall we? Yes, Doctor, let's go. Okay, Cassandra. <laughs> right, what's through here? Airpin. Oh, is that... Is that... Who's that? It looks a bit like Cassandra, actually. Come here, man! Come here! Uh, get! Kick their ass! Come here, man! On your ass! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, fuck! Get him, man! Get it! Come on! Kick the shit out of him! Kick the shit out of him! Get the fuck! Do it! Do it! Right, come here! Come here, man! You can be frozen, but you'll soon shatter. Yeah, like that. Go on your ass, man. Ugh. That should kill him. Yeah! Oh, wow. We're getting quite powerful. Might be able to go take out those dragons at some point. Might be able to go kick their asses. Because there's that Gamorden Storm Rider who's giving me trouble right now. That looks like Cassandra. It does, honestly. I'd like that throne. That throne looks cool. A bit barbaric, if anything, but, you know. Pretty cool. Right, what's in here? Seekers, where are you? Oh. Daniel. Daniel. Oh my Daniel. god, what the fuck? Cassandra. It is you. You're alive. Oh my god. As are you. I'm so glad I found you. No, they put a, a demon inside me. It's tearing me up. Oh, jeez. You can't be possessed. That's impossible. I'm not possessed. They fed me things. I can feel it growing. Uh, can we help him? Can we do anything? I don't know. This so they, like, put a demon seed in him and fed it? You have to find him. Of course we'll find him. If he lives, we'll... Lucius betrayed us, Cassandra. He sent us here. One by one. And yeah, that was the envy demon. Lies. He was here with them all along. He's still working with them. Was it the envy demon? Would it have been the demon from Therenfall? No. The demon came later. Oh, so he consciously betrayed them. But a demon couldn't simply take his place without anyone noticing. The Lord Seeker allowed it. He let the demon take command while What the he fuck? Came here. I'm so sorry. Now is not the time for sympathy. Of course it is. Don't leave me like this, please. What do you want us to do? Hack you up? You should have come with me. You didn't believe in the war any more than I did. You know me. I wanted that promotion. <coughs> and look what it cost you, man. Go to the Maker's side, Daniel. You will be welcome. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh. He was my apprentice. I have never known a finer young man. Now we find Lord Seeker Lucius. You damn right. We're gonna find that guy. We're gonna make him pay. Little asshole. Lord Seeker betrayed everyone. All his little secrets. I'm gonna fucking get the guy. I'm gonna get him. He's gonna pay. You're gonna pay, you hear that, Lucius? You're gonna pay, man. You're gonna pay. 
You're gonna pay for your crimes. You're gonna get your head chopped off. Just like Daniel. But, like, worse. Oh, hey, man. How's it going? Fucking promises. Get the fuck out of here, man. This ain't your place. Fuck out of here. Good bitches. Come on. Deal with them. Go. Go. Kill him. Get him. We're here for Lord Seeker Lucius. Nobody at Well, the Seekers as well, but Lord Seeker Lucius, we are hunting him. And he shall pay for his crimes. 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 Let's go. We're gonna get him, man. We're gonna get him. Lord Seeker Lucius, come out. Come out, man. We're gonna kill you. Lord Sika Lucius. Here he is. Cassandra, there you are. With a man I can only assume is the new Inquisitor. You have a lot to answer for. Very proud of your handiwork. I presume you know we Seekers of Truth were once the original Inquisition. Mine's better. Oh, yeah. We fought to restore order in a time of madness long ago, as you do now. Yeah, but we're better. We became proud. We sought to remake the world, to make it better. But Mine's better. What the guy, that guy on the left looks Trump, fucked up. The circles of Magi. A war that will see no end. So you help Corypheus? Uh, ooh. You betrayed your people! I kinda wanna say that. Yeah, go on then. You lured your entire order to their deaths. There was no other choice. Oh, really? No other choice? Have you gone mad? We Seekers are abominations, Cassandra. You what? We created a decaying world <gasps> and fought to preserve it even as it crumbled. We had to be stopped. That's because you're a corrupt Inquisition. See for yourself. The secrets of our order passed to me after the former Lord Seeker was slain. The war with the mages had already begun, but it was not too late for me to do the right thing. This is not the right thing. This was the right thing? It doesn't say exactly what it says there. I'd kind of prefer it if it did. I know. What Corypheus did with the Templars does not matter. I have seen the future. I have created a new order to replace the old. The world He's become a promiser. Start anew, a pure beginning. It's not like you're going to be a part of it. It is the maker's will. Goddamn dog, that's like three times during recording. Jesus Christ. All right, come here, Lucius. You're a naughty motherfucker. You know that. You know that. You're naughty as fuck. Yeah, sorry about the dog, guys. This is like a third time. Like, I've just recorded randomly, and then she fucking come out of nowhere and start barking. Like, Jesus. Really stupid timing. So annoying. Right, come here, man. Fucking promises. Your shit. I hate your promises. Yeah, well, he's dead now. Oh, wow, he had a fair bit of stuff. So much wasted life. He could not have destroyed all of us. I won't accept it. Let us return to Skyhold. I wish to see what's in this book of secrets. We could just, like, look at it now, if we want. I feel like we can go up and get things. Is there some secret thing up here? I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Is this... Ah! Thought there might be. There's something. Is it any good? What's in here? Oh, it's not worth it, really. Oh, well. Alright, we'll go back to Skyhold, and we'll, like, talk to Cassandra, and... So, all all the Seekers were dead. That's, that's a shame, because we could have used some in the Inquisition, like, fighting for us. Or even give them to Barris. And, you know, he can use them. Alright, let's go back to Skyhold. So, shit. Lord Seeker Lucius was bad in both forms when he was being mimicked, and in real life, he... So it's a bad dude. Alright, we're back in Skyhard. We'll talk to Cassandra and hopefully this personal quest will be done. It's a shame the Seekers were killed. Not even for a good reason. Oh, you you guys talking? I'm a Templar too. Can I can I join in? 
Right, the Book of Secrets. This tome has passed from Lord Seeker to Lord Seeker since the time of the Old Inquisition. So who's it go to now, Barris? Uh, you seem upset. You look drained. Do you know? That was very sudden. It just stopped the music. The last resort used on mages in the circle, leaving them unable to cast, but depriving them of dreams and all emotion. It should only be used on those who cannot control their abilities, but that has not always been the case. Sounds horrible. Deprived of all emotion? That sounds... I always thought it a necessary evil. What finally began the Mage Rebellion was the discovery the right of tranquility could be reversed. The Lord oh, Lord really? Time covered it up. Harshly, there were deaths. Shit. It was dangerous knowledge. The shock of its discovery in addition to what happened in Kirkwall. But it appears we've always known how to reverse the right. From the beginning. Oh, wait. So the rebellion was needless? So, the rebellion could have been prevented. Perhaps, but it was a long time coming, for many reasons. That's we a fucking huge candle, like fuck! To become a seeker, I spent months in a vigil, emptying myself of all emotion. I was made tranquil, and didn't even know. Then the vigil summoned the spirit of faith to touch my mind. That broke tranquility, and gave me my abilities. The oh, so it happened to you. That secret. Not with me, not with the Chantry, not even with... She's not really that emotional at the moment anyway. Lucius was not wrong about the order. I thought to rebuild the Seekers once victory was ours. Now I'm not certain it deserves to be rebuilt. Uh, your faith's been shaken. I don't think I've ever seen you so shaken. I do not think the seekers have been doing the maker's work. Not truly. Perhaps we believed it once. The original Inquisition came to be during a terrible time. But now, we harbored secrets and let them fester. We acted to survive, but not to serve. That is not the maker's work. So, how would you rebuild? You did rebuild the Seekers. How would you do it? I can't be the only one remaining. We will always spread to the winds, and some may still be out there. I would find... I'm a Templar, man. We would all read this book. No more secrets. Then together we would establish a new charter. The Maker's work in truth. But what is the Maker's work? You're saying that, but what is the Maker's work? There is no way to know for certain. That is why we must... Is that why you called Seekers? Perhaps we lost our way because we stopped looking. What else in the book? Said there was more in the book? At some point, power becomes its own master. We cast aside ideals in favor of expedience and tell ourselves it was all necessary for the people. Will that happen to us, Inquisitor? Will we repeat history? No. No, no. We're nothing like the Seekers. I want We're much better. We resemble what they used to be. So, I think she should make the Seekers better, to be honest. Um, you know, the warriors are out there, so why not bring them together in a good order and not a bad one? Build the Seekers. Make them better than they were. Thank Greatly approves. I could not have done this on my own. Don't worry about it, man. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. All right. Uh, I think that was Cassandra's personal quest. Uh, let's just try and travel somewhere. Go to Cassandra. Uh, it's not changed. I don't think. Has it changed? I'm not sure if it has yet or not. Hmm. That's strange. Um. Can I speak to her? She's having a conversation with Sir. The others yeah. may welcome you as a Templar, or not. All right, that's cool. Oh, I gotta speak to her again, I guess. 
I don't know. I, I, that didn't change her car for some reason. And that was her personal quest, I think. Good book. Ah. Oh. Was it Lady Veronica? <laughs> Are you embarrassed? Are you blushing? What would I have to blush about? <laughs> it's of no interest to you, I'm certain. Bet it is. I'm a, I'm, I'm a good reader, mate. It's Tell me. I, I know that. Yeah, thank you, Inquisitor. Back what me up here. Uh, <laughs> so you read them all? Chapter, meaning you've read them all? Not since this all began. We've been busy. She's read this one three times. I don't like the captain either. <laughs> it's literature. <laughs> Smutty literature. Yeah, but you enjoy it. Whatever you do, don't tell Varric. Oh, what? Why not? He'd be pleased. Why not? I think Varric would be pleased to have another fan. Pleased? Yes, that's one word for it. They're terrible. And magnificent. And this one ends in a cliffhanger. I know Varric. <laughs> he must know. Oh my god. Pretend you don't know this about me. <laughs> this one ends in a cliffhanger. It's not fair. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay. Is her card changed? I just want to check one more time. It's not changed. It's weird. Um, unless it has so slightly, but when the cards do change, they're not slightly. I don't know. I don't know if she if it's changed or not. Is she loyal or what? Wait, who are you? Do I know you? Thank you for Haven. In your efforts at Therenfield, I am committed to serve your work. Do I know you? I don't know who fuck that is. Oh, no way. I know who that is, actually. There was this woman at Haven, and uh, she was being naughty, so we got on her outside. Alright, Varric. Yeah, Cassandra likes your book, mate. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. You're just oh, really? We almost had to start without you. Start what? What exactly were you starting without me now? What? Where are we going? Where are you taking me, Varric? Look who showed oh. up, everybody. Deal him in, would you, Ruffles? Oh. I do hope I recall the rules. It's been ages since I've played a game of Wicked Grace. Ah, oh, this is nice. We're ready to start. Are we playing cards or what? There's a crown on his head, but a sword too. His head didn't want either. Don't talk to the face cards, kid. <laughs> <laughs> I have a thousand things to do. Losing money can be both relaxing and habit for me. Give it a try. This is nice. If any man in history ever needed a hobby, it's you. Curly. <laughs> oh, I believe I'll start at... Oh, three coppers. Do you think that's too daring? Maybe I'll make it one. No. Boldness. Three it is. Seriously, who starts at three coppers? Silver or go home. Oh. Sounds good. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. Me too. Well, are you in? I'll play. Of course. Deal me in, Josephine. Oh, wonderful. I'm glad you're joining us. This is nice. Aw. There's a little card game with everyone. <laughs> That's awesome. Ran out into the dining hall in nothing but his knickers. And this profound silence fell over the hall as 70 mages and 30 Templars. Oh, poor guy. A slow round of applause began. It spread until every soul was on their feet. A standing ovation. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did he do? Saluted, turned on his heel, and marched out. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. <laughs> You're shitting us. <laughs> All right, I'm bull. Calm down, mate. I could never put that in a book. Too unlikely. Uh, I've got a story. So my kith was hired for a simple caravan escort in southern Navarre. 
12 days of walking alongside donkeys and men who smelled like donkeys across flat nothingness. Now you didn't finish your story, mate. Chakrakar turned to the donkey and said, We'll let this go if you will, and walked away. <laughs> Not bad. You don't mind if I steal that one, do you? <laughs> well done. Thank you, mate. Thank you. <laughs> you ought to tell stories more often. Oh, this is so nice. With the rabbit. There should be more rabbits in stories. I agree, Cole. I agree. It would ruin the Inquisition. <laughs> And the dealer takes everything. I win again. Deal again. I figured out your tells, Lady Ambassador. Oh, Colin, stepping it up. Everyone knows a lady has no tells. Then let's see if your good fortune lasts one more hand. <laughs> uh, deal me in, see. I want another chance to win my dignity back. Deal me in. Aw, look at all this unity. Oh, oh, Cullen! What's going on, man? <laughs> I tried to warn you, Curly. <laughs> <laughs> it comes off. I didn't know it came off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. That was awesome. So, uh... Yeah, we'll let you. We'll let you get dressed now. Oh, he's naked. He's complete. <laughs> Too easy to mistake you for the Inquisitor. <laughs> I thought he only had his shirt off. Oh my god. I enjoyed this. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's easy to forget you're not just an icon or symbol. <gasps> oh my god, Cullen lost the game of strip poker. <laughs> game when this is all over <laughs> <laughs> yeah man oh that was great <laughs> oh my god she's so colored oh she's so schlong Sarah, you naughty girl. Oh, that was excellent. Something you wanted to talk about? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Tell me the truth, Baron. Fucking hell, that was great. Do you actually think I was sent by Andraste? Oh. oh, shit. This is going to be awkward. I guess I do. Either you're guided by the hand of some higher power, or you have the worst luck. You believe in Andraste? You as an Andrastian. It's a great story. It's got heroism, love, betrayal, and random musical numbers. What's not to like? I don't have a nug in this race. It could be bullshit. It could be true. I'll never know. But I like the idea that maybe you could save the world with a song. Uh, there's no reason That's to believe. No reason to believe in me. It might actually be the opposite. Cullen lost the game of strip poker. <laughs> you were saved from the explosion that leveled a mountaintop and fell out of the fade. You fought a demon inside your mind in the middle of a pitched battle between Templars. Faced down one of the ancient magisters who started the blights, had a mountain fall on you, and lived. Single-handedly saved the Orlesian Empire. Stopped an army of demons. One of those things would be impossible. All of them together? That's a miracle. I guess. I see a point. I'm starting to see your point. Just try to warn me before falling into the fade again. <laughs> I hate it too. Oh, fucking hell, Varric. Teleport around. Right, uh, yeah. Sandra is waiting for the next issue of Swords and Shields. I must have heard that wrong. It sounded like you just said that Cassandra read my books. She's a big fan. She's a pretty big fan, in fact. Are we talking about the same <laughs> oh, grumpy thing? Like stabbing things? Wait, did you say the romance serial? Huh. She'll be waiting for a while then. I haven't finished it and wasn't planning to. 
That book is easily the worst I've ever written. The last issue barely sold enough to pay for the ink. Uh, Cassandra seems to like it. Cassandra seems to be hooked on it. And I honestly thought a hole in the sky was the weirdest thing. <laughs> so, you want me to finish writing the latest issue of my worst serial for Cassandra? Yeah. That's a terrible idea. I have to do it. On one condition, I get to be there when you give her the book. Fine. You've got a deal. <laughs> The fact that the book is terrible just makes it more worthwhile somehow. All right, all right, okay. Let's go. Let's go give it. Oh, uh, Cassandra. By the way, I told Varric. Sorry. So we low. Right, is she still over here? Yeah, she is. <laughs> Cassandra, I got something for you. You finished that book really quick, Varric. What have you done now? I get it, Seeker. You're still sore after our spat. I'm not a child, Varric. Do not suggest I'm without reason. Uh, a peace offering. The next chapter of Swords and Shields. I hear you're a fan. Oh. This is your doing. Yeah, but... I was hoping you'd be happy about it. She is, really. Well, if you're not interested, if you're not interested, still needs editing anyhow. Oh. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> you're probably wondering what happens to the night captain after the last chapter. Nothing should happen to her. She was falsely accused. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me. <laughs> I don't normally give sneak peeks after all. She greatly approves. I thank you. Thank Varric. Varric's the one you should be thanking. I am but a humble servant. <laughs> I wonder if I have time to read the first part. But don't forget to tell all your friends, if you have any. Oh, Varric on the sly. Completely worth it. <laughs> that was awesome. That felt so great. Alright, is that done now? Is that now her personal quest? Let me know, please. Is that her personal quest? For God's sake. I'm not sure if her card's changed or not. I think it has, like, ever so slightly, but... They don't normally change ever so slightly. It's weird. Oh, yeah. Oh, fucking hell, Iron Ball. You're quite, uh... Negative Nancy, aren't you? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, what? Right, whatever. Um, we'll do Josephine's personal quest. I'm not sure if Cassandra is, like, ready now or whatever. Um, but fuck it. We're going to do Josephine's quest, which is basically... Josephine uh, isn't as rich as she makes out to be. Um, she's lost quite a lot of money. And we need to go help her. So, that's what's happening. I don't know. Her card's not changed. I'm confused. Right, um, either way, I'll bring Dorian, uh, I want to bring Vivian, and I'll bring Iron Ball. Iron Ball's so sad now. But it was either, like, let the ship sink or save his charges, and I think he's happier for the charges. I don't know. Cassandra's personal quest confuses me. Right, we're in Valrio. We've got to speak to these people with Josephine and help her get her money back, basically. Josephine's not very good at a debt. Melodramatic. What? what? Yeah, alright, whatever. Josephine, where are you? Josephine, here you are. Hello. Do Hello. You this noble wanted to meet us? I do. The Comte Boisvert has invited us to his mansion, not far from here. I pray he clears up the deaths of my messengers, as promised. Let's go see him. Yeah, she tried to fix her money problem with, like, messengers and something. I don't really understand it all. But, like, their messengers have been getting killed, I think. Or something. Right. Finally. We're here. So, what's going on, Josephine? We're gonna meet with this Comstie Bavois, or whatever the fuck he's called. Welcome, my friend. 
hate these fucking masks. It may be Elysian culture, but I think it's fucking dumb. You for us, is mine. Please, sit. It's an honor to assist two such distinguished guests. We welcome you home. appreciate your help, Comte. The death of Lady Montelis' servants must weigh heavily on you. you it's not nice. The, the Assassin's League? Oh, Ezio, Altair, Connor. <laughs> Edward, Haytham. The other one. The rogue one. Whatever. How, could, how the fuck can you drink through that mask? Overturn the Montelier's trading exile in Orlais. Uh, you could be in danger. Just after your messengers, Josephine. They'll try for you too. I, I am afraid so. Yes. Well, let's kill those fox. The Du Parquets. But the Du Parquets died out as a noble line over sixty years ago. Apparently not. But the contract was signed one hundred and nine years ago. How can a family try to kill you what? after they died out? The Du Parquets were our rivals. They drove the Montelliers from Val Royale. This contract was drawn up over a hundred years ago, but it wasn't invoked until I tried to overturn my family's exile. Unpleasant though it may be, okay. the House of the Foes is merely fulfilling its contractual duties. But the contract's ancient. If the people who wanted your family dead are gone, why are the assassins still after you? A contract is a contract, Inquisitor. Orlesian businesses live and die by their reputations. The entire guild's welfare would be endangered if an agreement was tossed aside on a whim of time or fate. She's quite right, Your Worship. The House of Repose is doing what it feels necessary. Well, then we'll stop them. I'll help stop them. I'll do what I can to stop these attacks, Josephine. Thank you, Inquisitor. I think I may know how. The do Good. still have descendants under the common branch. If we elevate them to nobility, a do could annul the contract on my life. Oh, so we got to make it. How are you drinking through that mask? It's bullshit. You can't drink through that. The house of repose will be obliged to hunt. Oh, Garda. You are oh. exceedingly well informed. Or not to have said you'd heard rumors at best. Oh, shit. This contract on your life is an ugly business. One the house of repose deeply regrets. Oh shit. But this is Orlé. Even an assassin's world is his bond. Was there ever a comp? What there actually exist? Absolutely. The Comte's offer to reveal the killers of Lady Montilly's messengers was genuine. So was his information somehow. And then to be tied up later. Did you kill him? I'm guessing the actual Comte Boisvert met with a fatal accident. Comte Boisvert slumbers in a nearby closet. Nothing more. The contract on Lady Montilly's life is so unusual, we felt the courtesy of an explanation was in order. Okay. But he's going to try and kill her now, right? Your idea to seek out the Duparaquet to revoke our orders is uh, an interesting one. I wish you luck. No, you ain't doing shit, man. I did not come to shed blood today, Inquisitor. Only to speak. Might I pass? Uh, why the warning? Warn us about your contract and let us go. In Orlais, it is only decent to inform those involved in the contract when extraordinary circumstances. I'm not sure because he might come back later. Would suffer if you ignored the contract. I quite understand. Thank you, my lady. May we conclude with my departure? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to really let him go. No. Not on your life. As you wish. You change clothes quick. Okay, it's not him. Oh, wow. Okay. Come here, man. Don't you fucking disappear on me. Where's Josephine? Is she still around? I don't know. Well, anyway, I'm not letting these assassins go, man. They could come back later and, like, end up killing Josephine. I don't want that to happen. What the? Yeah, I can see you, man. I can see you. I can see you both. Come here, man. How dare you? Fucking asshole. Change clothes so quickly, by the way. It was so quick. That's the last of them. Well, that's the 
the last time I agreed to wait on the other side of a door when you're around. Are you two all right? Yes, thank you, Lord Bavis. I think it's time we return to Skyhold. I've I think so, Timmy. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, goodness. Oh. Comte Poivet, is that you? <gasps> oh, the lock's been broken off. We'll find a saw. Can I not just bash it in? I realize the cabinet is quite valuable, Comte, but surely. <clears throat> a locksmith, then? <laughs> 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 Come on. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, I wasn't going to let that assassin come back and kill Josephine. Because, like, if I'd have let him go, he could have come back and killed her. So, it's it's one assassin out the way, at least. Right, let's speak to Josephine. Uh, I know where she is, actually. So, yeah, let's speak to Josephine and see what's going on. Right, Josephine. Josephine, Josephine, Josephine. What's going on now? Is everything all right? I never thought my family's trading status would trap us in an assassin's plot. You had no idea. Uh, you're safe here. Between our soldiers and spies, Skyhold's safer than anywhere else in Thetis. Yet the problem persists. I've tracked down the last two paraquets. If they become gentry, they can annul the contract on my life. We'll require a noble from Val Royal to sponsor them, a judge to provide documents, a mini Oh, fucking hell. Him. It's too likely to take the longest course of action, even when your life is at stake. What do you want to do then? I assume you already know everything about this mess. There is a faster way, Josephine. The original contract on your life is in the vaults of the House of Repose. If my agents infiltrate it and destroy the original, the assassin will have no obligation to chase you. Ah. Diana, I want no more bloodshed over a personal affair. Don't be so stubborn, Josie. How long will it take you to gather these favors in Val Royale? Leliana has a point. Destroying the original contract will satisfy the guild. I say we do it. But I'm sure my plan will work, Inquisitor. Whatever happens, I'll assign you more guards. The House of Repose won't be idle long. I appreciate it, but I still believe elevating the two paraquets will solve this. Oh, the smug look. First, we need to perform some favors in Barroyo. I'd be happy to discuss where we could begin. Uh, dispatch Leliana's assassins or speak with Josephine. Um, Leliana kind of is a bit rough, so... Um... Fuck it, we'll do a favor for someone else, actually. What's our next move? do some favors in Val Royale if we want to make the Du Paraquettes lords. The Countess Dion is our first step. Her lover, a mage from the White Spire, is missing. Ah. and she'll be very amenable to sponsoring the Du Paraquettes. Oh, it's so much effort, but I think he'll probably be better in the long run. Ah, oh, all right, we'll find a we'll find a sponsor for them. Fuck it. Go on then. What? Why not? Like. You know, summon the war council. If um, if we can, you know, have someone else like a commoner become a lord and enrich his life or her life, then fuck it. Why not? Why not do that? You know? Oh my fucking god! Look at that! Oh wow! Gee, look at the time remaining on that! Oh my fucking god! Whoa! What the fuck? Is that glitched? Oh, fuck. Is Leliana forever stuck on that now? Can I not get out? Oh, fucking hell. Oh, wow. I don't even... What the fuck? What the fuck's going on? Look at that. Look how much time that wants. That's bullshit. What the fuck? I don't... Is that glitched or what? I don't understand. I think it's fucking glitched. Oh, wow. Oh, fucking hell. Right, where's... L thingy? Uh, that's Leliana's thing. Where's the... Yeah, I'll do that. Hopefully those two come back, because... You know... Oh, my God, like... You know, what the fuck? I'm not gonna be able to do other shit now because of that. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. I hope that fucking fixes itself. That's going to piss me off, because that's like two of my guys, like, gone. What the fuck? That's not supposed to be that long. I don't fucking understand. That's bullshit. I hope that fucking fixes itself, otherwise I'm going to be really pissed. Alright, so anyway, um, yeah, guys, that was, uh... Lelian, no, not Lelian, uh, Cassandra's personal quest, uh, we had the strip poker with, um, uh, strip poker with Cullen, uh, going on as well, um, yeah, it was all really cool, I, I like this episode, um, I really hope that glitch sorts itself out and stuff, um, but I'll try and look in, into Cullen's personal quest and look into Solus's, see if I can get those activated, that'd be nice, um, but anyway, Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. I've been Dr. Blue. You've been my audience. And I'll see you guys next time.